those hands are up, I don't know whether you want to tell us something before we start. Okay, I can see to be missing, your hand is up. You can say something before we start, if you have. Peter? If you are not saying something, you can lower your hand. Okay, Eric, are you saying something before we start? I just wanted to greet you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, I'm, I also have Kim. Kim, yes, I can see your hand up. Kim, your hand is up. Are you saying something? You can unmute. Okay, I think Kim, all right, from the chat, people are saying uh, good afternoon. Uh, okay, thank you, whoever is greeting, and uh, good afternoon to you. Okay, uh, Kim, Kim, I don't know what is happening. Okay, now I have, uh, yes, I saw your hand up. I thought you wanted to say something. I beg your pardon, sir. I saw your hand up, and then I thought you had something to say. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I raised it up for that prayer. Oh, oh, sorry. Someone has given us, but um, thank you for that hat. Thank you. Okay. Um, yes, we are today. Okay, from the chat, people are greeting. Good afternoon to everyone. Mm, yes, good afternoon to you all. Okay. Um, today, we are going to review what we looked at, what we did in our exam. That is majorly what we are going to look at. And that is what we prepared for this week. Reviewing or doing corrections of other exams that we did. Fortunately, I've marked all of you. And I believe you people have been in a position to see your work. I will comment on a few things before we start our list or before we start um, the reviewing the corrections. Um, many of you did not read the instructions. Many of you did not read the instructions. I don't know why you did not read the instructions. And um, reading instructions is also an exam. You get? Reading an instruction or instructions is an exam. And uh, many of us did not uh, read these instructions. That is why many of us were answering all the uh, questions. Uh, Melissa, yes, you can unmute if you are saying something, yes. Melissa. Melissa? Oh, you've just gone off? Okay, okay. So I was actually telling you, but many of us did not read the instructions. And that is the reason why many of us were answering all the questions. The instructions were clear that you attempt to only two numbers. Anyway, let me share the screen and you see that question paper and uh, look at what I'm uh, exactly telling you. So I'm trying to get this question paper. Uh -huh, there it is. So I think you can see that question paper on your screens out there, okay? If you are seeing this question paper, our instructions were answer any two questions. Are you seeing that? I believe you are seeing that. Answer any two questions. And then instruction two was saying all questions carry equal marks. Then I was like any additional question uh, that will, uh, any additional question won't be marked, okay? And then there was uh, come scan your answer, make it in PDF format and submit to the Google Classroom. Those were our instructions, okay? Um, oh, someone is saying sub loud. Okay, I don't know whether I am not audible. Are you in a position to hear me very well? Tell me whether you are in a position to hear me very well. Like I'm, um, I'm unmuting Abigail. Am I audible enough, Abigail? Oh, Abigail is not in position to talk. Okay, Mugabe, I can see your hand up. Yeah, yeah we are I, hearing very well. Oh, okay, thank you. So 
So I believe uh, the one who is not hearing, I think it might be the rain in that side, as you say, it must be that one. Um, okay, uh, Mugabe, I can see your hand up. Sam, I'm, so sorry. I'm so sorry, I forgot to put down my hand. Oh, okay, it's okay, don't. All right, um, then um, <laughs> Peter, Peter, I can see your hand up. You can unmute. You are very clear and loud. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. I think the other person has uh, that rain issue, actually. That is why you are not in position to hear me very well. Okay. Um, yes. Uh huh. Someone was also saying, teacher, your audio. I don't know. What about my audio? I believe people can hear me very well. Okay. Um, yes. We have gone back to our question paper here. The question paper has got question in number one, then in number two, number three, number four, but we are only doing two numbers from the four questions set. And another thing I've also identified here, I think it's a general problem. Um, simply because you had just joined senior one, we had not taken you through senior one flame. Many of us don't you know the answering techniques. Many of us, we are only outlining. In history, we don't outline. I was actually telling you that if you can give an explanation of two lines, you give a point and then an explanation of two lines. You don't state a point, then you full stop and then you explain. No, a point is made in, 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 in a statement. Are you getting it? A point is made in a statement. For example, reasons number one was asking for reasons for uh, the coming of missionaries to East Africa. You can talk about um, spreading the gospel, that missionaries, actually you begin with the point. It is better beginning with the point. You understand? Um, uh, you can, for example, uh, give this point of, um, uh, okay, someone's hand is up. Let me first see whose hand is up. Okay, uh -huh. someone, eh? you've gone off. Oops. Okay. Um, okay, I have Eric. Yes, you can. Eric, unmute. Eric and Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Peter. Yes. I have not understood the instructions. The instructions. Oh, the instructions. Okay. Yeah. Instruct all right, all right. I'm going to come back there. Okay, Jenny, I can see your hand up. You can unmute. Jenny, you've instead gone off. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Someone is, okay, Elizabeth, you can unmute. I wanted to answer that, number one, to give a point. Or oh, you want to contribute? Yes. Okay, you can give us that contribution and then, um, okay, yes. Missionaries came to East Africa to spread Christianity. Then, and the explanation, missionaries considered East Africa to be a virgin land, and therefore they wanted to spread Christianity. Uh, thank you for that. Thank you very much for that. That is how we were supposed to answer, by the way. That is how we were supposed to answer. But many of us, we are only outlining points. Now, being that it was your first time to do an exam of this nature, I was actually marking. I was marking you, I was a little bit lenient. I could not actually, you know, uh, cross your answers yet, uh, yet they were right. So I was actually marking. Even if you were uh, just outlining, I was actually marking. Um, yes, I have Nakato. Nakato, you can unmute. Good afternoon, teach. Good afternoon, how are you? Yes, answer number two. Yes, you can give it. Another, yes. Christian missionaries wanted to reduce the spread of Islam by the Arabs and the Swahili who had started spreading their region to the interior people of East Africa. Yes, thank you so much. I believe you've heard how Nakata has answered. How I wish that all of us answered in that format. How I wish. You understand? Nakato, thank you so much. That was very good. That is wonderful. That is how we were supposed to answer. That Christian missionaries came to spread a Christianity. Or actually to fight Islam that was already 
being spread at the coast of East Africa. So that is how we are supposed to give our answers. I also have Pauline. Yes, Pauline. To, to abolish slave trade and slavery, which had caused untold suffering and misery to the people. Uh -huh. Thank you, Pauline. Yes, that is again another good point. The point talks about slavery and slave trade. They came to East Africa to stop this barbaric act of selling human beings. You understand? Selling human beings as if you are selling goods. No, that was not good. That was illegitimate. So they came to stop such a trade and um, replace it uh, uh, with uh, a legitimate trade, okay? So that is how we were supposed to answer, okay? And um, many of us, unfortunately, we are just outlining and uh, giving very few points, very few, like a three, five, but there are those that were giving more points, okay? There are those that were giving more points. So I am not blaming anyone right and uh, i don't want you to feel so sad about this it is simply because you had just joined senior one and we had not taken you through uh, 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 uh we had not actually given you exams of this nature but remember there is that 80 percent that you never uh, you never will be giving out to you i mean um uh, the school is actually uh, the max the school will be collecting takes only 20 percent and the 80 percent will be from the questions set by your neighbor and i believe the questions will be set in this format. That is what I think. Anytime Yuneb will give us that guideline. But um, this is um, what is in the guides that Yuneb sent us. And uh, if you've got some of these guides, this is the format of the questions which is uh, there. Now, um, yes, we are looking at, um, excuse me, we are looking at um, reasons why Christian missionaries came to East Africa. Okay, and if you have some other points, yes, I'm waiting for that. Hands up. Uh, I'm waiting for your hands up. Okay, I have promise. Promise you can animate. Oh, promise. What has happened? Okay, promise. Are you in position? Yes. Okay. <laughs> To teach people to read and write. Go. Okay. Thank you for that contribution to civilize Africans, East Africans, to teach them reading and writing, which was non existent in uh, East Africa. Nakato, yes, you can unmute. Yes, teacher. Christian missionaries wanted to promote legitimate trade. Uh -huh, thank you. They wanted to promote legitimate trade. The trade where there is exchange of goods for goods, okay? The exchange of, of goods for money, that is it. Uh -huh, that is the legitimate trade. Thank you for that contribution. Gertrude? Gertrude, you can unmute. Can you hear me? Teacher, can you hear me? Uh, we are trying hard to hear you, but you can you can contribute. Okay. The, they were they, they wanted to build schools and train Africans in practical, practical skills. Okay, thank you for that contribution. They wanted to build schools and train Africans in practical skills. Thank you for that contribution, Gatri. Um, I have um, Petronella, you can animate. Petronella, waiting for you. Oh, Petronella, can you animate? Um, yes. They came to pave way for the explorers, colonialists. Okay, thank you. You've made it right at the end, colonialists, because some um, explorers had already come to East Africa. Yes, they came to pave way for colonialists, and indeed they did that work very, very well. Okay, yes. Um, I have Sumin, you can unmute. 
Sumin. The industrial revolution, the industrial revolution in Europe led to the discovery of quinine, which encouraged the missionaries to come without fear. Yes, thank you, thank you so much. As a result of the Industrial Revolution, these people discovered quinine, which was a chewer of malaria, and they could come to East Africa without fearing malaria. You understand, many of them had been killed by malaria, but now there was quinine, and they could come to East Africa. Oh, sorry, sorry, Beatrice. Uh, you can put up your hand again, Beatrice. Okay, I have um, Angela. Angela, you can unmute. Angela, Angela, we are waiting for you. Angela and Immaculate, one of the two. Oh, I don't know what is happening to you, but I can see your hand up. Okay, I've gone to someone else. Um, I have Elizabeth K, you can unmute. Yes, they wanted missionaries wanted to promote Western education and civil civilization. Then the explanation is Africans were used with informal education, but with the introduction of Christianity, formal education was introduced like in schools like Gaya's High School. Okay, thank you for that. Thank you very much. So we are talking about formal education. That missionaries came in to promote formal education. That is very, uh, uh, that is true. And they are uh, uh, built schools in Uganda, in Kenya, you know. And yes, indeed, the formal education was introduced in East Africa. Okay, I have um, Isimoma. They came to check on the spread of Islam such that they can increase the number of missionary converts in East Africa. Yes, thank you so much. To check on the spread of Islam such that they can increase on the number of Christian converts. And up still, I don't know that you are back or you just didn't lower. So I think Gertrude did not lower the hand. All right. Um, okay. I now have, um, I don't know, uh, Shari. Yes, you can unmute. Oh, Shari. <laughs> okay. Um, I have Jamal. You can unmute. Some had come to complete the work of Dr. Livingstone, who had left a big part of his work uncomplete. Yes, thank you for that. Some of them had come to finish up with the work of Dr. David Livingstone. Yes, he left a lot of work uncompleted, and that is why some missionaries came up to finish up with his work. Beatrice, you can unmute. Beatrice? They wanted, they wanted to improve in the living condition of East Africans. Yes, they wanted to improve the living conditions of East Africans. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, um, I have Tulinawe Julia. Tulinawe? Julia? Yes. Um, they mm -hmm. to abolish slavery. Uh -huh. Thank you for that. They wanted or they came to abolish slave trade and the slavery. Daphne. Christian Daphne. missionaries. Christian missionaries came to East Africa to improve on the health on the health services. Okay, thank you for that, Daphne. They came to make sure that the health services of the East Africans are improved upon. And that is why they even constructed the uh, hospitals. Uh -huh. uh, I have uh, from the chat, I've got some people here. Uh, someone says they wanted to promote Western education. Yes, thank you for that. 
Nabunje says some missionaries came due to the desire for exploration. Yes, that is uh, uh, true. They came simply because they wanted to discover uh, more in East Africa. Um, they wanted to, okay, uh, they wanted to, um, yeah. So most of you, yes, I've seen your contribution. Uh, I have Arinda, you can unmute. Arinda. Okay, I think um, Arinda is okay. Okay, okay. Um, a moment, a moment. Okay. Uh -huh. and then I have um, I have Esther. Esther, you can unmute. Thank you, sir. I have a complaint. My work was crossed, yet my answers were correct. Oh, which, uh, like, I don't understand which work was crossed. Like, um, effects, effects of the European. It depends, by the way. You know the reason why I was crossing out. Now, do you know why I was crossing out some work? You were supposed to attempt to only two questions. So I was marking the first two questions and then crossing the rest. Are you getting the point? Because our instructions are clear. You are supposed to answer only two. Are you getting it? That is why I was marking the first two and then crossing out the, the, the last two. Have you got that? Have you got that? <laughs> yeah. So it is, it is not that the answers were wrong. No. I was only marking the first two and then crossing the last two. Are we together now? Yeah, okay. we are together. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right. Um. Uh -huh. I have um. Charlie, I don't know whether you are giving us some. Um, huh? Charlie, you can unmute. Oh. Okay, Ruth, you can unmute. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher. Yes. Uh, Christian missionaries came to East Africa to navigate our resources, like my lakes and mountains. Okay. Thank you. They came to look for what they were to take. Anyway, I think that is what you were trying to mean. They came to see the riches of Africa, the riches of East Africa, and then later on uh, 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 talk to the home governments of how Africa, East Africa was rich, and then they had to send uh, colonialists to take these resources um, of East Africa. Okay, I have Elizabeth um, Kaima, doctor. Yes, teacher. Yes, you can. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Teacher, I saw that you're on number two. I wanted to give the answer of number two. Okay. In fact, from this moment, we are switching over to number two. You can give us that point. Language barrier. Okay. Thank you for that contribution. Yes, we have switched it to number two. We have gone to number two, and the number two talks about the problems that were faced by the Christian missionaries. Um, uh, Kaima has given us that point of language barrier. These people could not easily communicate to the people of East Africa, and that was indeed a very big problem. Jesse, you can unmute. Kyle? Kyle, yes? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm, your contribution is they faced a challenge they faced a challenge of attacks from hostile tribes since, since such as the nandi and the maasai yes thank you for that thank you for that hostile tribes okay and uh, he has even given us examples yes. of the nandi and the maasai indeed this became a very big problem this became uh, a stumbling block uh, in the way of the missionaries 
uh, when they were preaching or when they were civilizing, when they were converting the people from traditional religion to Christianity. Thank you for that. Melody. Melody. Poor transport. Okay. Poor transport. Poor transport. Yes. That one is again another point. The roads were impassable at the time. And in fact, we cannot even call them roads, routes, okay? The routes were impassable and they could not um, easily move from one place to the other. They could not even communicate because they didn't have these um, uh, the, the telephones like the ones we are having today, okay? So, um, okay, uh -huh. I was actually checking from the chat. Uh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Someone has even given us this point of tropical diseases, yes. Like malaria, malaria was such a very big problem to these people. And of course, it is even believed, I always tell you that Dr. David Livingston died of this disease, malaria. So, tropical diseases. Thank you. Um, uh -huh. I have uh, Sanatha. Is it Sanatha? You can unmute. Okay, long Sanath, distances. Yes. Okay, long distances. Walking. Yes, walking long distances. That was again another challenge. Walking long distances. Remember, they didn't have cars. They didn't have cars. So they could walk these long distances. And um, on the way, they could even get tired. Some of them could even be uh, killed and eaten by um, the man eaters there. Uh -huh. Nakato. Nakato. Mm -hmm. You are breaking, but you can contribute. The first missionaries first a problem of language barrier since they did not know the languages of the local people of East Africa. Yes, thank you for that contribution. Language barrier. They could not easily communicate to the people of East Africa. Just say, yes, say. Just say. Oh, I don't know what is happening to Jesse. Okay, Zara. Zara? Sure. Yes. Difficulty in crossing some physical features. Uh -huh, thank you for that. Difficulty in crossing some. I want a mute. Okay. Difficulty in crossing some physical features, right? Uh -huh. Yes, that was one of the problems faced by these people. Some physical features uh, like rivers could not easily be crossed by the missionaries. And then uh, their mission of uh, spreading Christianity had some issues there. Then I have George Prince. George Prince. Promise. Okay. Um, I have um, Ad 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 Aldrina. Prosperous. Teacher, my answer has just been mentioned. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Uh -huh. Then, um, Ime? Ime? Waiting for you, Ime? Okay. Um, then, uh, Winnie, Winnie, you can unmute. We yes, I know that several like clients, which made their deep, which made difficulties during their journey. Uh -huh. they could be eaten by wild animals, yes, and uh, that made it hard for them to to carry out uh, their work. Uh, I have Jamal. 
there was a problem of the influence of the Islam. Okay, influence of Islam. Yes, because um, Muslims had already settled at the coast of East Africa and they had started um, converting people to Islam. Therefore, it was a bit hard for these people to convert uh, the people that already gone to Islam and then to convert them to Christianity. And again, the Muslims there were also opposing them. Okay, so that was again another big problem. Uh -huh. Swabra. Swabra. The first world animals on their way to East Africa. Uh -huh. Thank you for that contribution. Wild animals on their way uh, to East Africa. Uh -huh. Namus, okay, Ruth. Teacher? Yes? They made hostile tribes which attack them and they killed them. Uh -huh. Hostile tribes, the Masai, the Nandi, they were hostile to them. Thank you. Uh, I have Avia. Avia? Oh, okay. Um, Davis, Alozias. Harsh weather conditions. Harsh weather conditions, yes. That one is another challenge that was actually faced by him, the missionaries in East Africa. Thank you, Alozias. I have Usharot. Sharot, unmute. Okay, as the Sharot is unmuting in the chat here, people have given me, Elizabeth has talked about hostile tribes in, uh, doctors talked about attacks from dangerous wild animals, and then poor communication, thank you. Um, I have, um, okay, someone using Galaxy J4, outbreak of epidemic diseases. Yes, thank you for that contribution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for that contribution. Okay. Um, yes, I also have um, uh -huh. harsh climate from blessings. Yes, thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Then I have Charlotte. Charlotte, I think, is not unmuting. Okay, uh, then uh, Daphne. Daphne, you can unmute. Poor network. Poor network. Uh, Daphne, I don't know which network I are talking about. Like uh, the network we are using today? Maybe transport network. Communication, mm -hmm. they couldn't easily communicate to their home their countries. Okay, that one is okay. Teacher. Uh, yes. Are you getting me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, my answer is lack of enough pasture for their animals. Lack of enough pasture for their animals. See, the missionaries. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you for that contribution, uh, Sharot. But um, uh, missionaries did not so much have animals that lacked um, pasture. And by then, East Africa was still a virgin, you know, like a virgin country, I can say. We had a lot, a lot, a lot of um, pasture for the animals. Or oh, can uh, these were not pastors? Okay, uh, Keira, maybe. Okay, Keira, you can unmute. Inadequate funds. Inadequate funds. Thank you for that. They didn't have enough money, enough you know, resources for, for, for whatever they were doing at the time. Thank you for that. Then I have um, Jenny. Um, my answer is shortage of supply for food and medicine. Okay, thank you for that. Shortage of supplies, food, medicine. Yes, that was again another problem, Samantha. Samantha. Samantha, are you there? Yes, teacher. 
Yes. Cha, I beg, I beg your pardon on the question. We are looking at the problems faced by the missionaries in East Africa. Attack from hostile tribes. Thank you. Attacks from hostile tribes. Thank you for that. Um, then Nabunje Sumin. Mm -hmm. They. They lack geographical knowledge or information about East Africa, hence some would get lost. Yes, thank you so much, Sumin. Geographical knowledge. This people didn't have that geographical knowledge. So somewhere, somehow, they could get lost on their way to uh, their destinations. Thank you, thank you. Um, then Chimera, Chimera Brickley. Oh, Chimera. Okay. Arinda? Arinda, you can unmute. I think Arinda has issues there. Um, Isaiah Eric? Okay. I have um, Emma and Luth. Yes, Emma and Ruth. Emma and Ruth. Yes, they, they were mistaken taken by people. They were Are you hearing me? Yes, I can hear you. They were mistaken by people with military assistance, e.g. Mutesa, of Uganda expected them to give him guns. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know how we can term that to be a challenge. Uh, they were, uh -huh, they were fought by some local leaders. Mm -hmm. uh, they were fought by some local leaders, for example, Mutesa. <laughs> yeah, for example, Mutesa um, of Uganda, who actually conflicted with some of them. Yeah, so um, someone is talking about a problem of rivalry among different Christian groups, for example, the Waingeleza against the Wafaransa. Yes, this is true. This is true. Um, rivalry, okay, uh, among the, 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 these people, like uh, we had the Waingeleza fighting against the Wafaransa. The Wangereza, the Protestants, fighting against the Wafaransa, the Catholics. That is true. Thank you for that contribution. Um, from this moment, I think we are switching over to question number three, and this is in the interest of time. I can see your hands are still up, but um, we've given enough for point of question number two. We've given enough, okay? So from here, we are now going to question number three. Let me hope the hands which are up are actually going to be giving us some uh, some points about question number three, which talks about effects of European Christian missionaries in East, uh, in East Africa. Effects, okay, of the European Christian missionaries in East Africa. So to begin with, I have um, Isaiah, Isaiah and Eric. Isaiah and Eric. Teacher, one of the effects, um... It led to, it led to, to the is it, it led to for the spread of formal education because they they provided the East African citizens with the with the learning materials and all they needed to to carry out formal education. So it led to to fast spread of formal education. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Isaiah and Eric. We are talking about education and uh, most especially formal education. That is true. Very true. Um, the people of East Africa uh, got um, education. Uh, they were taught by the Christian missionaries and um, they used their education to spearhead um, or to lead others in the fight for their independence. Okay, Rita. Rita. They encouraged agriculture through introducing new crops. Aha, uh -huh. thank you, Rita, for that agriculture. Hmm. Indeed, they 
uh, introduced in new crops in East Africa here, okay? Um, cotton, you know, and uh, so many other, other crops were introduced by these people. And then agriculture was encouraged by these Christian missionaries. Zara. Zara. Zara, are you there? Okay. Um, Sumini. They increased intertribe. They increased intertribal wars by giving guns to Baganda to fight Banyoro. Okay. Thank you for that. Uh -huh. The example, I will not concentrate on that one, but intertribal wars. Yes. Uh, they are the converts and the non converts. Those that were converted looked at the other ones that were not converted as enemies. You understand? So those are the intertribal wars we are looking at. Okay. Um, Nakato. Yes, teacher. <clears throat> the missionaries undermined African culture through the introduction of Western culture and fought against African culture like killing the twins. Okay, thank you. They undermined African culture. This is the truth. They undermined African culture. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> okay, um, I was trying to unmute the one who was actually making noise there. I'm, I'm actually telling you that these people undermined African culture. They tried to brand everything African satanic. You understand? Everything African satanic. That is why even some of us hate our culture. I know some of us do hate our culture. Uh, you, the, the teenagers, you can even see the names you are calling yourselves. You don't want to be referred to by your traditional names. When someone calls you Mugerwa, you say, mm, that is not my name, I'm Kim Kim. You understand? That is undermining African culture. So um, the thing is, these people undermined African culture and they introduced theirs. Thank you for that. Uh, Winnie. Winnie? They led to the development of trade through the formation of trade companies. Uh -huh. Development of trade. Mm -hmm. Because um, they funded some of these trading companies, the Imperial, the East African Imperial, the, the Ibea Co, Imperial British East African Company was funded by uh, the, the, the Church Missionary Society. So um, these people promoted the trade. Uh -huh. Then I have Alozias. Alozias? The youth schools and hospitals. They built schools and hospitals. Thank you for that. Yes, schools and hospitals. The hospitals, you know, Nengo, you know, those that is a school now, you understand? It? And uh, of course, so many other schools and hospitals were built <laughs> by the missionary. Uh, a moment, let me. Okay, you can unmute if, I'm mean, sorry, you can mute if you, uh -huh, I think the person is here. Okay. Um, uh, Zahara, you can mute. Zahara, mute yourself, okay? Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Yes, I have um Rosias. You didn't lower, or you are giving us a point. Alozias, I think you didn't lower. Okay. Um, then I have Jesse. Jesse, your microphone is not on. Okay, it's on. Jesse? Yes, teacher. Yes, you can contribute. They introduced new styles of dressing. Uh -huh, new styles of dressing. Yes, thank you for that. They introduced the new styles of dressing. Of course, in East Africa, our ancestors didn't 
even have um, uh, the 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 mothers. They, they were they, they used to they used to put on uh, skins and uh, and hides from the animals. Okay, uh, Winnie Mugabe. Yes, Winnie Mugabe. Uh, so you had first not admitted me the first time, but I have an answer. Okay, you can contribute. Missionaries reduced the rate of illiterates in East Africa by introducing education. Uh -huh, thank you for that. They reduced the rate of who? illiteracy in East Africa. True, illiteracy. People in East Africa could now read and write after the education that was introduced by the missionaries. Tony. Tony, are you contributing? Tony, I can see your hand up. Are you contributing? Okay, I think I should. Um, uh -huh. Then I have um, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Kaima, are you contributing? Elizabeth, are you contributing? I think Elizabeth is not contributing. Okay, from the chat, a moment from the chat. They softened the people's hearts through Christianity, which led to colonization. Yes, thank you, Premier. That is true. They introduced a new printing place, places. Uh, okay, I think someone is trying to say something here. Yeah? I don't know that Mugabe, you are saying something. No, sir, I'm not saying anything. Oh, okay. Um, I had someone trying to talk. Okay. Um... Okay, I've gone back briefly. Uh huh. Jesse says they introduced a new printing, new printing places. Eh? Uh, something to do with the printing. I, I think you are talking about a printing, um, not a printing places. Eh? Uh, the East African printing place. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> you are talking about P R E double S, not that place. Okay, press. Thank you. You are talking about printing the press. You were okay. Thank you for that. Uh -huh. Then um, mm -hmm. they introduced a new farming methods. Yes, that is uh, true. They introduced modern technologies like land lines that were used for easy communication. Land lines for easy communication. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Mm, a new architecture, yes, that is from Namirembe, that is true. Um, yes, a new architecture, the building style, yes. Uh, new farming tools, yes, that is true from um, Jesse. Thank you from the chat. I have uh, tried to also uh, read your uh, messages. I have Mia. Unmute. Mia, you can unmute. I think Mia is not um, unmuting there. Then I have Jenny. Jenny, you can unmute. Violet, oh, what could be Teacher. the problem? Yes, Teacher, they introduced churches. Yes, they yes, introduced they built. churches. Uh -huh. Thank you for that. They built churches. Yes. They built churches and they converted many people um, to Christianity. Now, thank you. Thank you for that. But again, in the interest of time, I would also like to look at 
four, uh, question number four. I can see your hands are still up, but most of the points have been given. So we are switching over to question number four, right? Switching over to question number four. And I believe those whose hands are up are going to contribute, are going to give their contributions about question number four. Okay. Number four, number four. Okay, number four. I have uh, Daphne. Daphne, you can unmute. Daphne, are you unmuting? Okay. Then uh, Sumin, you can unmute. Yes. Slaves were a common commodity in Middle East and around 17th century. Uh -huh. Slaves were a common commodity, meaning that um, that commodity called slaves was actually a commodity on high demand. And that is why there was development of slave trade and slavery in East Africa. Thank, Thank you for that uh, contribution. Uh, Tisha. Uh, yes. Tisha. They yes. they want they wanted slaves to act to the uh, they wanted slaves to us at the transport for their commodities. Uh -huh. Okay, slaves at the time were used as the uh, they, they could carry. Slaves at the time could carry uh, the goods of the merchants, okay? The goods of the merchants see from the interior to the cost for the um, Arabs and other traders. Okay, thank you for that. Then Rita. Uh, industry revolution in Europe increased so that the, the demand of the merchants were introduced by the slaves. Hmm? You were not clear, Rita. Industrial revolution in Europe increased so that the demand of raw materials could be introduced by the slaves. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, Rita talks about the industrial revolution. And there was an increased demand of raw materials, meaning that these raw materials could be uh, uh, grown, uh, for, for example, agricultural raw materials could be grown by these, uh, sorry, by the, the slaves. Okay. Thank you for that contribution, Jamal. It was it was profitable by the sailors, which led to the development of the slavery in East Africa. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. The trade was profitable. We cannot go without mentioning that the trade was profitable, and that is one reason why uh, uh, slave trade. That is why slave trade and slavery. Um, developed in East Africa. Uh -huh. Then um, Brenda and Benita. Excuse me, teacher. I was asking for a link. A link for Google Classroom. A link for Google Classroom. I'm so sorry. Now, it is, oh, it is so one. easy. Yes. A link of Google Class, okay. The Google Classroom link. Yes. yes it is so one. easy to get. What you do, you, you go to, yes, this is what I'm telling you. This is what you have to do. You go to Google, okay? And then just type in um, Christian School Owners Association. Christian School Owners Association. The moment you did that, every little So I think um, I've answered that one. Okay, then um, I okay, I have uh, Winnie. Winnie. Having the coastal market has transpired to the development of slave trade in East Africa. OK. 
okay. a costal market. Mm. The, the market at the cost, okay? There was a market of slaves at the cost of East Africa, and that is why it developed. And um, yeah, that, that is why there was development of slave trade in East Africa. Um, yes, I can see people's hands are still up, but um, the time. Okay. Uh, um, I have Melissa. Melissa Chirabo, you can unmute. Okay. Um, yes, in the interest of time, we are going to end here. We have. Oh. Okay. Melissa, are you Just contributing? Yes. You can contribute before we go. It was a traditional act as many East African chiefs and leaders had domestic slaves, and therefore it was part of East African family culture. Yes, thank you so much for that one. Wonderful contribution. And um, it was a culture like having slaves, selling humans in East Africa was a culture. That is why it's so much developed in East Africa. Uh, uh, yes, from the chat, people here um, thanking me. Uh -huh, I can see. A... Buka has the family in East Africa. So thank you so much from okay. Uh -huh, thank you so much. Um yes, you are welcome, you are welcome. So thank you so much for your time and for attending this lesson. So our time is up. We are meeting up um again next week, but one, okay. So next week, but one will be meeting with so many other new things. Yes. Um, okay. So we are ending here. We will be meeting up next time. Thank you. Thank you. So we So Mr. Charles, I think you can uh, end the lesson. Okay, thank you so much, teacher Zazen, for being there all along. We appreciate your contribution. Thank you for teaching these learners. And for me, yes, I wish welcome. the learners success as they are going for this short holiday. But they should not forget, you should always be revising your books. Yeah. Don't just stay there that now the lesson is not there. And also you you fail also to read your books. Remember, schools will be open, and when you go back to school, your colleagues will be really on your neck. What have you been doing during the holiday or during this lockdown? then it will be okay if you tell them that, hey, for me, I've been reading, I've been attending online lesson with Edify, we even did online exams, so it's very, very important that this one week, yes, dedicated to reading, yeah, you revise, you go to Colibri, you go to and revisit the YouTube videos, the links are there, or you also go to Google Classroom and you do the work that you have not been doing before. But for us, we shall be planning for you. This is not the end of the program. We are just going to plan and we come up with something much, much better. So I wish all of you success and greetings to your parents. May God keep you safe during this time. Bye-bye.